Imagine if you were taken to a dark warehouse and placed in a small jail cell. No fresh air, no sun. The warehouse is controlled by dark cow overloads. They plan on eating your muscles and wearing your skin. By chance, you you were granted meeting with the chief cow overlord. How would you convince them to release you and your fellow and your fellow humans? I would say, hey, um, it's not worth it. Can you please take a can you please take a break and let and spare me for once? I know you're hungry, but there's other solutions that you could eat, like grass, um, hay, stuff like that. So please, so please don't kill me or eat me. The animals, they get tortured, like they get like caged up. The chickens, they fight and everything. And the male and female, they get separated. And since the females do the repro uh, reproducing, the, the male, they, they get killed right away. And I think that's despicable because, because why not let them free for once or spare them? They don't have to experience that. What could you cook or eat without using cow, chicken, or pork? Well, you could cook like carrots, um, soup, noodles, and a salad. Who cooks your meals at home? If not you, what would happen if you asked the, that person to cook a meal without beef, chicken, or pork? Well, my mom cooks, but if I ask her, like, can she make like a vegetable, um, she, would, she would agree because because we had like too many meals that is meat, so yeah, she would agree. Like, probably one day without meat, meat wouldn't be so bad. Also, you could eat like plant-based um, beef. Sometimes um, I look at it and be like, that's so delicious, but my mind is like, yeah, but remember that these are animals.